What's up you guys, it's your boy Miguel giving you your daily dose of radiation. In today's video, we will be covering, for the students, for those new to the x-ray game, or those who want to pursue the x-ray career, we will be doing a, a day in the life just work wise of a night shift. So, for those who don't know, I do night shift x-ray at a level 3 a trauma center. There's two of us for the night shift. 8 p.m. to 8 a.m. is the duty. There's two of us at our facility for the whole hospital. So, so for me in particular, I'm... The more tech savvy, more bring stuff from work to help you facilitate your job more easy. Always work harder, not smarter type of gig. Takes me a little bit longer to get ready. So, I mean, I live like three minutes away from the hospital. So, it is a short trip there. I would say that, you know, typically I get ready, head out the door arrive to my place about like five ten minutes early get ready get hype and then go in there and so usually you just go in there talk to the opposite shift and you know they'll give you the little little summary of you good we good get to work if there's you know something hasn't been done or you know, some information from the upper management that needs to be said, or if a machine's not working, you know, just the basic, huge little stuff you'll encounter. If everything's good, okay, they leave. You set up your little stuff to get ready for the night. I usually just check the ER, see how full we are, see who the doc is, get a little game, can, game plan going with my partner to see, you know, okay, so how, you know, to expect the, like, potential workflow, understand, different doctors will determine our little setup if we're going to do morning ports earlier or later, and then once again, once the list spawns in at 1230, you'll get an idea of what to do. Students that come in do x-ray sometimes at night. It's only during a certain season. Right now is October, not November. So we'll have students still coming in certain days. So we'll kind of work around with them, split the workload. If it's just me and my partner, we'll technically just do a little buddy system. We'll both go and knock them all out quicker. Each one has their own little role to do. And knock them out, and then depending, I mean, if there's you know certain stuff that has to get done on the floor, you know, rapid response codes, any other stuff, typically I'll go up and shoot the stuff on the floor, and the other tech stays and knock out stuff like that. We usually play that game for about 12:30, and then we wait to see what the morning port list is, and then once that spawns in, 12:30. Okay, then we get a general idea of the workload that is that has to be done between usually we'll go if it's a lot about 1 1 30 in the morning to knock out the west side which has oh the ICU more like intubated more serious patients and then the other side of the hospital will usually wait till about 3 to 4 a.m. because they're the more mobile and alert patients you know piss them off so we'll wait a little bit on that that's our usual time when we go but once again determining on if we get called early up to the floor for any other exams we might shoot it sooner if we're already there might as well especially if the ER slow so once once that chunk is done we'll just be as soon as the portables are done, all the morning ports, it's essentially we just chilling in the ER. It's not going to have anything that just comes in. But usually on a good day, it's pretty chill. 
maybe one or two mix hands an hour if it's a good night and then usually about 6 6 30 6 a.m the morning doctors come so usually that's when stuff starts picking up a little bit more and we'll have more exams and that's usually when all the residents and all the morning ports that were not assigned will spawn in and usually we'll do our second round of morning portables about 7 30 before we leave knock out any stuff on the floor and then usually we'll come back clean up everything my little setup i have and then we'll just wait for the night for the day shift and once again same thing tell them you good bounce or be like okay this isn't working or we need to talk to the supervisor about this that whatever going on and usually if it's a smooth night that's how it goes pretty simple in and out nothing bad and then i mean throughout the night depending once again if ct needs help or if other people need help you know help transport help do other stuff like that but for the most part it's just basic x-rays chest x-rays for the most part is a good 80% of their job. And yeah, it's pretty chill compared to day shift. But I mean, sometimes you do have those crazy nights, or not crazy, but just a lot of stuff going on on the floor, or just workload in general on the emergency room. So it does get a little hectic from time to time. But I think it's pretty worth it. I enjoy my job. Some people, about we notice more on the day shift or if you're just starting on the night shift usually that midnight 1 2 3 a.m is what we call you know the sleepy time so certain of the techs you know start a little head bomb action happening around that time so sometimes they, we would rather go do more reports at that time to keep us alert once again i mean there's always coffee and stuff you can drink keep you up if you didn't get a good night rest or daytime rest as some of us call it but yeah it's pretty chill i enjoy my life i love my job I'm not really stressed out about much stuff and if you enjoy these videos hit that follow hit that like and i would recommend pursuing a career in this it's easier way easier than being a nurse so the wife is a nurse and let me tell you, it's a bunch of stuff they got to do. Granted, some of them do make more money than we do, but it's a lot of headache, a lot of stress compared to just pushing the button. I'll tell you that much. And yeah, it's been your boy Miguel. Hope you enjoy your daily dose of radiation. And see you on the next one.